So this is our first project that we're making. And this is the this is our box. This is our gift bag. And then this is our fun fold card. It's an easel card. And then this is our regular card. Yeah. So let me show you the um for those of you that purchased the bingo event, um, I'll show you how it's going to arrive. So we've got uh, project two, project one, card two, card one. This is your envelopes and your pearls. They'll come in one of these ombre gift bags. Uh, your designer series paper will be packaged differently. This is my uh, demonstration pack. And then your little swag bag. Now, in the swag bag, there's one thing that the bingo participants are getting that the later class packets are not getting, and that would be the little peach tea. So just the people that are playing bingo are going to get the peach tea. So in your swag bag, there's going to be some linen thread, um, peach ribbon, and the magnets that you're gonna need for your box and your gift bag. So there's four in each bag, and um, that's what you're gonna use. Now, if you have a heart condition, or not a heart condition, if you don't want the magnets, if you purchase the packet and you don't want the magnets, shoot me a quick email, because I know for those of you that have pacemakers, um, you're not supposed to be around the magnets. So, yeah. Okay, so let me put all this back in here. Don't wanna to touch that one. Okay, so we are ready. We're gonna make, um, well, let me go over really quick the, um, the special again. This special can be anybody. I, I say it's a host, it's a, a bingo event um, host code, and it is but anybody can order. So it's only until the 25th. And if you place a minimum $50 order using this host code, you can choose either the Prince and Princess host stamp set, the take your pick tool or the paper snips. So yeah, you just have to fill out my form to request your gift. And if you don't find the form, I always email people and say, hey, which gift do you want? Okay, so now, Let's get out all the supplies for project number one. And I have my measurements back here so that I don't mess up. Um, you are using an eight and a half by 11 um, piece of paper for this project. So we're not gonna be doing any cutting to that, but let's go ahead and get our stamping done. So I'm gonna move that over. This piece here is for your stamping. So we are using Calypso Coral, Pale Papaya, and Pear Pizzazz for this one. So we're gonna start with the greeting first. And give that one a chance to dry. Just ignore the condition of my stamp pads. I did order new ones, and guess what? They're upstairs in the foyer. <laughs> okay, there's our greeting. We're gonna leave this open because we're still gonna be using it. Next, we're gonna take the leaves with pear pizzazz. And we're just gonna stamp that over here. You guys will find that I always send way more than what you need uh, when it comes to uh, basic white card stock. <laughs> and then we're going to stamp the flowers. And then we're gonna be using this little Dumaflachi. And stamping it right in the middle of the flowers. Okay. 
Okay, so now we need to cut those out. Okay, so. Are y'all like me? Do you think of things like in the middle of the night? So here's all the dyes that we're using today. In the class packets, I use everything that's not in the dyes for the class because we're not allowed to send stamped images in the packets. So like everything that's cut with a layering circle, a stitch so sweetly die, um, I cut all those for you. But anything that requires the dies that coordinate with this stamp set, I don't cut those because like I said, we can't, we're not allowed to send stamped images. And actually, thank God we can't because <laughs> if I had to cut more, I don't know that I could. Um, plus, we'd never sell stamps if we if we could send stamped images. So, yeah. Okay. Purple tape. Well, that thing didn't hold, did it? Let me get a fresh piece. Hold my breath. Is it lined up? Unless I put my head in the camera, I don't really know if it's totally lined up, but. You know, I don't think of stuff in the shower because honestly, I take baths every night. So I don't, I don't shower very often. Um, Y'all are going to laugh. I think a lot of Southern girls do this, I, or we used to. Uh, I wash my hair in the kitchen sink and I take a bath every night. <laughs> Maybe that's too much information. Yeah, my family still is like, you're washing your hair in the sink? I'm like, yep, always have, always will. Maybe it comes from growing up on a farm and only having one bathroom and five people in the house. I don't know. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and, and build this part because um, when we're done, we'll just put together our box and then slap the focal point right on the box or not slap it but <laughs> you know what I mean right throw it on there okay this is going to get dimensionals Let's see, I don't think, I think I just, what did I do? I did a mini down here, I think. Come here, take your big tool. Okay, now these just get added with glue dot, oh, not glue dots, liquid glue. So I'm going to start with the little. And you know, you can add these with little dimensionals if you want. In fact, let's just do that because it will make our life so much easier. But I want to put it, I want to be specific about where I put it. So I'm gonna actually add it to that layer. Does that make sense? Okay. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. Laugh with me, not at me. Now you're gonna take two strands of the linen thread. And 
and tie a bow. You could use your pale papaya um, ribbon for this, but I like using a combination of ribbons. Who knows which way it goes. And I'm just gonna add that with a glue dot. I like leaving the ribbon or the linen thread like big because I think it it goes well with the box. Hopefully that makes sense. Now the final step is our pearls. That's why your embellishment in your um, packet are pearls this month. And actually, you know what? You can use the, the bigger size. Hmm, I'm getting low on those because this is a 3D project. So now we'll set this aside. We'll add the greeting after we get the box together. Let's get our Simply Scored scoring tool. We're going to score it on the landscape side, which is the long side, at one, three, six, and eight. Turn it on the portrait side and score it at two inches on both sides. And I do have the box templates already uh, drawn up. So these are included with the class. You get a template for the box, the bag, and cutting instructions for uh, one of the cards or one of the pieces of paper. You'll see that in just a minute. Okay, so we're gonna fold on the score lines and burnish with the bone folder. This is Calypso Coral. Yeah, so we're using Calypso Coral and Pale Papaya. I was shocked that I had less participants this time. I really thought uh, this suite of product was amazing. So I did not expect to have a smaller crowd this time, but that's okay, they're lost. So we've got this smaller strip over here. Let me look at my diagram. So yep, I put it on the left side. So we're gonna remove these two corners. And then we're gonna cut up to the score line on the rest of these. Same thing on this side. Okay, this is how it looks right now. Now what we wanna do next is we're gonna whack off part of this one. So we're just gonna cut it in half and then give it a trim like that, okay? Same thing on this side. We're gonna whack half of it off and then angle cut it. We might actually have to cut more, we'll see. So we're gonna place our adhesive on these two tabs. They're gonna fold in like that and adhesive on these two. So I'm gonna get my tear and tape. This is a really nice size uh, box. And let's see, let me go ahead and put it on these two so that I don't get confused. Oh, and you know, one thing I forgot to do was trim these tabs. I always like to trim them just a smidge.
My husband got up and went fishing this morning at 5 a.m. I gave him very strict instructions to not wake me. That's when I get my best sleep is right before I have to wake up. <laughs> he just got home. Okay, now let's take the backing off. Our next thing is we're going to cut the designer series paper for this project. I normally do all the cutting um, beforehand, but since I don't cut for the class packets, then I'm not going to cut it in advance because that is a step that if you're getting the class packet, you, you have to do yourself. Whoops. Okay, there's that side. Okay, so this is going to fold in like that, and then this is going to flap over, and this is where we're going to be using um, our magnet, okay? So now let's cut that paper. We're using this pattern here. And we're going to be using three pieces. So four and three eighths by two and seven eighths. Four and three eighths by one and seven eighths. And four and three eighths by seven eighths. Okay, so we're going to get the trimmer out. And our first cut is going to be at four and three eighths. This is leftover, AKA scraps. So the first one is at two and seven eighths, one and seven eighths, and then seven eighths. And I'm going to use the 7 eighths over here on this side. It's a little bit easier to see. So this is scraps. Get my liquid glue. I didn't realize that any of the colors were on back order. So the pale papaya was on back order? Or maybe a different color, I don't know. Okay. Now this one. I flipped it around because I wanted that little strip of white to be at the bottom. Now this is gonna get added here. So you have your choice. You can either add your um, magnet here or you can attach this with liquid glue to this part and then add your magnet on the back of this. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my liquid glue here and attach the focal point. Give it a second to dry. Uh, Martha, uh, my color of nails is Susie Talks With Her Hands. It is a gray um, gel with the white 
unicorn powder. Is that what it's called? Okay, so now, before we add our magnet, let's go ahead and add our greeting. So I'm just gonna place it right there, and we're gonna attach it to this, not the box. So you only want your adhesive right there. So I'm just gonna take a, a mini dimensional. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll take two. And then our final step will be to add the um, magnet. And if you can't have magnets around your, your family members or um, yourself, you can always use the little mini Velcro. So let's get the magnets. Okay, so I'm gonna get the first one here and attach it right there. Oh, goodness gracious. There we go. Squash it. Okay, now we want to take the next magnet. Go ahead and attach it. And then put your glue dot on there. Now, I feel like you're going to need something in here to, like, push down on so that it can attach. That's too too wide. Let's see. I know. Let me grab a couple. I don't want to squash the box. That might be too much too. It is. Oh well. I won't worry about it. Okay, so glue dot on the magnet and then if you've worked with magnets you know that if you are not careful um, you can rip your cardstock so here's the original here's the one we just made and this is how it opens Okay, I ripped mine, see, <laughs> and that's when I discovered that the magnet here would be better, so don't do what I did, um, do it like this, okay, works much better adding it to this layer, okay, yay, we're done with project one, now we're ready for the next project, so I'm going to move this over and get the supplies, so the box is complete. Now we're going to make the bag. And that would be project number two. And this project is also using uh, eight and a half by 11 cardstock, an entire full sheet. So hopefully you guys like um, using or having bigger projects. I typically make smaller projects, but here's the bag template that you'll get with the class. Okay, so same thing. We're going to be doing our stamping. So if you need a short break, um, I'm just going to be stamping all of these layers. So, yeah. Looks like I have some extra pieces here for some reason. Oh, I know why. Because I grabbed... I always cut for extras in case I mess up. So this is the piece that you're going to be stamping on as well as the greeting. So we'll start with the greeting. I'm using Early Espresso. one's a little crooked. Let's see if we can do it one more time. I knew I was struggling with stamping this one. Much better. Okay. We'll close that up. 
And this time we're going to stamp the same pair of leaves with pear pizzazz. Normally I say you need the Stampin' Matte for your photopolymer uh, images. This stamp set uh, doesn't really need it. I don't know why, but it doesn't. And now we're using pale papaya for the little peaches. Same thing, we're just going to cut those out using the coordinating dies. So the little peaches. It's a really awesome bundle. And not only is the, the, um, the peach images, like they're really awesome, but the greetings themselves are really awesome too. They're greetings that I personally would say myself. I can't see, so hopefully that's straight. I will say, I don't normally always buy the fruit sets. Like, there's some people that really are really into fruit sets and um, can create really beautiful projects. I am not usually a, a fruit stamp set person. I'm, I like my animals. Um, but this one, I don't know. Maybe it's because I love peaches so much or I don't know. My daddy was born in Georgia. I have a lot of family in Georgia. Lots of cousins. And my aunts. Okay. Let me put the dies back up. I don't want to lose any. Once you lose a die, you're forever traumatized by it. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to just build our focal point and then we'll add it to the bag. So I'm gonna, um, wait, let's take this piece here and we're going to flag it with this punch. And if you don't have this punch, you're welcome to use your scissors or you can use the tailored tag punch or the retired banner triple punch. So now we're going to take uh, linen thread and we are going to wrap it around this two times. Let's see. I have to leave myself enough room to tie a bow. I like keeping it on the on the paper piercer. I know y'all are saying, wait a second, she's struggling with her bow. I am today. I'm like um What's that term? It's hot in here. In my studio, all these lights are on. I'm roasting. <laughs> okay, this is gonna get added to that layer. So just some liquid glue 
right in the middle. Okay, now this is gonna get added on top of that with dimensionals. So one here and one here. Now this is gonna get added here and I'm gonna just use liquid glue. Let's see. And then a little bit of liquid glue here. Now we're gonna add the little peaches. Isn't that funny that David brought home uh, donut peaches the same time, the same week that I'm doing a peach class? So ironic. Yeah, I'm gonna be dreaming about donut peaches. I know I sound crazy. Maybe they're not good everywhere. I don't know. But the person that gave them to David, whoo, man. Okay, there's that part. We'll add the greeting. Here it is. Once we get um, the box, the bag assembled. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to place it on the landscape side first, which is the long side, and I'm going to score it at three quarters. Okay. Landscape side, your first score is at three quarters. One and a half, five and a quarter, six, six and three quarters, and ten and a half. See, that just doesn't look right, does it? But it is. And now put it on the portrait side, which is the eight and a half inch side, and you're gonna score it at one and a half, six and a half, and six and seven eighths. Oh, wow. Okay, this is how it looks. So now we're gonna fold on all those score lines and burnish with our bone folder. We're making the harder projects first because the cards typically go together much faster. Not that either of these, any of these projects are difficult, but Y'all know that when it comes to making projects, the 3D projects are hard, easier for me. The cards are, <laughs> are harder for me. Not sure why. Over here on the left side, so if you look at the template, so I'm trying to make sure I cut it based on the template that I've given you. You've got your half inch strip over here. So let's start over there, okay? We're going to remove this section and do the same thing on this end. So you're going to remove, oh, I cut that one really crooked. Grr, and that's the front of our bag. Oh, well, it's just a sample. It will be okay if it's not perfect. Now, coming down here, we're going to cut on this score line, but we're going to ignore that one. We're going to cut on this one, and we're going to cut on this one. Now, for these two tabs, just give them a little 
angle trim. So that's how it looks right now. Now up at the top, we're gonna remove all of this, and the only thing that we're gonna be left with is this section here, okay? going to take the detailed trio punch and we are going to round the corners of this so this is what it looks like now that we're ready to assemble it okay so I'm going to put my, well, I kind of actually like to angle cut this piece here. You don't have to, but I like doing that. So we're going to add our tear and tape there. I'm going to remove the backing of the tear and tape and then just fold this over. And then I'm going to add tear and tape to this. Actually, I'm going to just go a little faster. I'm going to use my um, stamp and seal plus. I'm going to attach the back first and then the front bottom. And then here is our box, our bag, okay? See how it has that nice little um, fold there? I don't know what you call that. Okay, so let's get our paper. Now this paper is one that's very important. This paper is the only one that you have to be careful with your cutting. And so I provided or I'm providing a cutting template just for this pattern of paper not this one this one because you're going to be using just a small section here for this bag and you're going to be using the rest of it for your card so the piece for this right here for the top is three and five eighths by one and a half so this piece of paper, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it now for both projects. And then when we get to that card, I'll explain it further, okay? So your first cut, I always like to start from like this side, but I mess up the, um, I messed this up. So I have to fix this before y'all get to really see it. This is not the actual template, but the cutting is right. We're gonna cut at one and an eighth because we want this one piece to do both the bag and the card. If you don't mind wasting paper, you don't have to do this, but okay, one and an eighth, that's for card. What row? You know what, I like cutting over here on this side. I can see a little bit better on the right side. One and an eighth, and then one and a half, And one and an eighth. <laughs> okay, all of these we'll cut, we'll finish cutting later when we get to the card. For now, we just need this to measure one and an eighth by two and five eighths. Oh, goodness gracious, that's the wrong one. Huh? Okay. That's for the card. We need the one that measures one and a half. Whew, rewind. So the one and a half strip is gonna get cut at three and five eighths, and that's for our bag. 
and that is on your measurements down here, three and five eighths by one and a half, okay? So bag template, designer series paper, these are the two measurements. So then this piece here is gonna get cut to measure three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. So three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. This is scraps or extras for something else later. So let's get our bag. This is gonna go on the front here. Now y'all see why I like cutting the paper off camera, but y'all got to see how to cut it. And now this gets, we're going to round the corners first and then attach it. So Yeah, gusset, you're right. So remember when I was cutting this, I told y'all I accidentally cut too much on the side, so it's gonna look a little wonky wonk because I got a little overzealous on my cutting. This box uh, or bag is five inches tall. Yeah, five inches. Because I did put the measurements on here. Three and three quarters by five by one and a half. Okay, so now let's wrap this thing up. I need my Pell Paya ribbon. Now let's go ahead and add our magnet actually. This is why you're getting four magnets in your uh, class packets. Oh, hold on, let me go ahead and remove two of them. Ooh, it's easier to work with two than it is a whole bunch of them. You should have seen me trying to pack these up in their little bags for everyone. I'm not done. <laughs> you have to pretty much put them in their bag immediately. Okay, there's that one. Ow. Make sure when you fold this over that you don't fold it too far because you want your bag to be gusseted, like they said. Yeah, okay. Now we're going to take our pale papaya open weave ribbon. I'm not much of an orange color like 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 I like pinks and blues and greens um, so oranges and this color is not usually one of my favorites but I love it it's so soft I mean it's soft in color you know what I mean like it's it's pale it's subtle I like it Now, this is going to get added down here, just like that. So we're just going to place a couple dimensionals on the left and the right. <laughs> and then we've got to add our greeting and our embellishments. So let's go in there. If I can pick up my happy birthday. Where does it go? So it's going to go right over the peach here. And we're just going to glue it. And now our pearls. 
Thank you. What did I use on this one? I actually used the medium ones on this one too. I'm gonna run out of medium ones. Okay, what do y'all think? Pretty cute, right? I like. I don't think I changed anything. Nope. Mm -mm. Okay, now we're ready for card number one, which is this cute easel card. I'm saving the simplest card for last. Um, so here's the supplies for card one. And here's my measurements that I have. Okay, so we're gonna stamp um, these two peaches and the leaves um, on our scrap paper. This is for the inside of our card. Um, and then we're gonna stamp sweet as a peach on this one. So I need those layers for stamping. Pear pizzazz. Calypso Coral. We'll start with the greeting. And then now the So this was pear pizzazz ink, and now calypso coral. Now this is the only image I'm going to use my Stampin' Mat because it is a um, more of a fuller image. Yes, I re-inked my ink pads, so. But this is, this is how these are supposed to look. So it's not defective. It's how it looks. In case y'all are wondering. Okay, so this is going to get attached to the Calypso Coral Scallop Circle. Thank goodness we still have layering circles, dies. <laughs> um, now, let's go ahead and die cut these out. This time we're using the peach and that one. It is a beautiful set. I really do. I really do like it. I think all the sets that I use for bingo, though, I really like. I, that's the problem. Like, a lot of people can promote and, and sell anything. I have a really hard time doing that. I, yeah, I just, I can't. It, I really struggle with that. <laughs> if I love it, I can sell it. That's what I think... Like a lot of times I tell people that for me, that's been the secret to my success is that I just focus on what I love. I don't focus on what I can sell you or I focus on what I like. And yeah, that makes it easy for me. Or I should say easier.
Okay, there's our first one. I didn't cut that exactly straight, but it's okay. There's that one. Now we got one more, one more set to cut. When I go to edit this video, I'm gonna say to myself, why did I not turn that fan off? <laughs> so this is my reminder to myself, because I'm roasting. Somebody in the house has turned the, um, the air down, I think. Oh, thank y'all. Thank you, thank you. Let me close this up. We are almost done. The, whoops, the uh, last card is super simple. Well, I say it's super simple, but it's really cute. back up everything got shifted a little bit okay now we're gonna attach the little stem to the peach and I'm gonna use um, my liquid glue There's that one, and then this one's going to go this direction. Whoa. And there's that one. So this one's going to get added first, just flat with your liquid glue and this one's going to get popped up we're going to take our open Pale Papaya Open Weave Ribbon and make a little bow. I want to make it small, somewhat small. And then we're going to add it down here with a glue dot. It's sticking to me. I got liquid glue on my finger. So we'll add that once we get our card made. So we'll set this aside for now. Let's take the rest of these. Well, let's go ahead and cut our paper. So remember we have these pieces left over from that one sheet of cardstock. So for this card, we're going to need uh, these two pieces, but they got to get trimmed down. It's these two. So we got to trim those down. And then this one here is already cut. I cut that one by accident earlier. So this is scraps. We're going to trim these off to measure four and an eighth in length. So four and an eighth. And four and an eighth. And then this blue piece here. I 
that gets cut um, four by two and three quarters. So two and three quarters by four. Now let's bring all of our pieces back over here to finish this card. <laughs> and I think I might be missing a layer. No, I'm not. I take it back. Okay, let's get the trimmer again. I forgot. We're gonna score this at four and a quarter and I need my scoring blade on here so I took it off for the time being so four and a quarter okay now what you're going to do is line this up at the one and a quarter so you're going to start at this fold line okay so this score line you're going to cut at a one at one and a quarter so it's best to start on that score line and I, I can't see that far down there so what I'm gonna do is bring my trimmer and I'm gonna line it up down here so I'm gonna line it up at the one and a quarter I just noticed I have ink in my finger now oh okay one and a quarter and I'm gonna place this I still can't see. I'm gonna bring it closer to me. One and a quarter. And I'm gonna cut. So, did I say score? I can't see with all these lights. That looks good. And then you're gonna do the other side, okay? So, Flip it and line this up, side up at one and a quarter. I actually went to the back just a tad, but it'll be okay. Now this piece of Whisper White is going to go on the inside, so we're going to go ahead and add that. Thank you. And then these strips are going to get added and we're actually gonna glue that down. So first we're gonna add the designer series paper. This is gonna get added here. going to glue that down now this little section right here we need to score that so that it will form an easel whoops so I'm going to place it here on my simply scored scoring tool and I'm going to score it at two and an eight Now we're going to add these basic white layers.
This is going to get added on top here. Okay, now we want to fold on that score line again and just use your bone folder. Now we're going to add this designer series paper. And this is going to get added down here. Oh, goodness, it slid. <laughs> I saved it. Okay, so we're going to add this with dimensional so that that pops it up and helps make the easel. about there so now we're going to take this and add it there and when you're adding it you know make sure that you I mean you can bring it down further you can bring it up further if you look at mine I brought it up where my <laughs> I've used this measurement before where that crease is right there um, so yeah and just add it with liquid glue And we're going to add our bow and our rhinestones. So let me get a glue dot where I put them. And our little pearls. Okay, what do y'all think? Yep. Cute, right? So that's how they are flat. So they do go in our standard medium envelope. And that's how they open. Yay! It didn't mess up. I love it. Okay, our final card is this one here. And... You know, it's a simple card, but I just love it. It's so beautiful. And let me grab the packet. So this is what card number two packet will look like. Now for this one, we're going to go ahead and cut the paper first. Um, <laughs> I say that, but where is it? Now we're going to cut both of these pieces. Whew, let's not lose my stuff. Both of these are going to get cut to measure four by five and an eight. So our first cut is going to be at four. Oh, that's the scoring blade. Let me remove that. Okay, four by five and an eighth. So this is scraps. And four by five and an eighth. Now we're going to take both of these pieces. And on your uh, class instructions, you are going to have this picture here that shows you let me fold this over it shows you how to line it up okay so you're going to put both of these two pieces together 
and you're going to have the this point is going to line up at the one and a quarter and this point's going to line up at the one so if you look look here it says one and a quarter and down here it says one inch although you can't see the one inch because my picture didn't catch it but it says it right there okay and i can try to make it fit in the camera here for you guys but you probably can't see either the, the top or the bottom so i'm going to line up the point right i'm going to line this point up with the one and a quarter but this is where we're cutting and this point's going to go on the one okay so one and a quarter and one and we're going to make one cut okay this is going to give you the pieces to make two cards okay I'm only giving you the supplies to make one, but your designer series paper will give you two. So this is how this is gonna work. So this is, it's gonna be reversed. This is your second card. This is your first card. Yeah, okay. Now, since we have this here, let's go ahead and attach these just so we don't lose them. I have to tell y'all, in my uh, week long of cutting paper shares, I started watching L Longmire. Yeah, Long Longmire, Longmire, Longmire. Yeah, um, which is pretty addicting. I don't know why people why they have to end seasons on cliffhangers. Don't they know we are already hooked? We don't. You don't have to do a cliffhanger, kind of like Virgin River. You don't have to leave it with a cliffhanger. You already got us hooked. Just end it with a normal ending every season. Yeah, anyway, so when I go to cl cut the class packets uh, for this class this week, I will be continuing to watch Longmire. Okay, there's that part. Now we'll set that aside and let's do our stamping. This is our, your, your base of this card is gonna be thick basic white. You're gonna love it if you've never purchased the thick basic white. But let's go ahead and do our stamping. So we need to clean the peach because we used it last time. And I know I should be using my Simply Chamois, but I forgot to wash it and it's all dried up. So, oh well. Y'all know I use it. I do use it most of the time. Okay, so we're using uh, pale papaya. We're using all the colors on this project. So, okay, let's stamp the birthday greeting first, just so we can get this ink pad out of the way. There's that one. And close this up. We're gonna stamp to a sweet friend woo, with Calypso Coral. And then we're gonna stamp the peach with Pale papaya. And the stem or leaf. With pure pizzazz. Oh, I closed the calypso and I needed it. So for the peach, uh, we're going to take a sponge dauber and a scrap piece of paper. We're going to get a little bit of Calypso Coral and then get rid of most of the ink and then just lightly brush on some color. That wasn't very light, was it? Let me start over. I don't like that one.
you really want to get most of the ink off. Let me get another piece. There we go, much better. Okay, this layer is gonna get attached to the circle, scallop circle. Now we need to cut out our images. So we're gonna get the dies again. So we're cutting the greeting out with this, the little greeting. And yes, that comes with the, the peach dies, and then the peach, and then the leaf. You know, somebody told me they didn't like it, so I didn't watch it. I had DVR'd it, um, and then I deleted it because someone said it wasn't good. I know Reese Witherspoon's ex-husband was in it. Ryan, whatever his name was. Yeah, I can tell you movie stars' names, but don't ask me what I had for breakfast. Aren't y'all excited about the Friends uh, on the 27th? I was gonna, every month I was gonna cancel my HBO Max and I forgot last month. And now this month I'm like, oh, thank goodness I didn't cancel it. And if you're not a fan of Friends, don't tell me because I love it. I really didn't watch, I didn't start watching it when it first came out because I'm not much of a sit and watch TV kind of person like VCR, DVR, sign me up, but I got better time, better things to do with my time than watch commercials. I think my, I can't remember what, what year did Friends come out? Y'all tell me and I can tell you what job I was working or if I was busy with my kiddos. Yeah, when my kids were little, I only watched TV like in the middle of the night when I was taking care of them. Like I remember watching the World Series when Brooke was a baby, feeding her in the middle of the night and watching the World Series. That would be the Braves. I was, I used to be a Braves fan since I lived in Tennessee. Okay, we're almost done. And I'm getting chatty. Let's go ahead and score our card base. I'm not really doing this in a very good order, but five and a half. Pivot, pivot, pivot. Absolutely. Okay, so Friends started in 1994. That would explain it. Brookie was born in 1994, and she was my little Tennessee tornado. Oh, I can't even tell you how many times that child got lost. Um, yes, she was. She came out screaming, and she took 10 years off my life. So they were only 17 months apart, and David traveled for a living. His job, he left usually every Monday and came home on Thursday, sometimes Fridays, and then went fishing on Saturday so that he could survive. So, yeah, I was... Yeah, that wasn't an option. But once they got old enough, I was able to uh, start watching it and get caught up, and yeah... I knew there had to be something major going on for me to not watch it. Same thing on the stem. We're just going to add a little bit of liquid glue. Okay. 
And then this is, oop, I got glue on my finger. We're gonna pop that up with a dimensional. I'm almost done. I'm on the last card, honey. Brooke's giving me the look. <laughs> You're busted. I attached that crooked. Same thing, we're gonna add a little, uh-oh, I'm looking for that greeting now. There it is, <whistles> scared me. Let's go ahead and attach this. So we're gonna add a very thin line of adhesive to this. give that a minute to dry and we'll tie our bow <laughs> and start over this um, this ribbon is really slippery or slick So this is going to get added with just regular adhesive. We're going to add the bow with a glue dot. Whoop, my uh, knot is very loose. There we go. And then this is going to get added here. And I'm just going to add it with a dimensional back here. Okay, so rhinestone, not rhinestones, pearls. We got to add our embellishment, and then we'll be done. One up here, and one over here, and one down here. Okay, so here's our final project. So I'm going to recap them real quick so that if anybody's just now showing up, they can see them. So this was uh, card one and card two. And then our box and our bag. And we do have a little special host code for today's event. So here's the code. I did post it on the um, Chicks and Crafts um, group. Yeah. So the class material, the PDFs for the class will be available tomorrow. And your class packets, if you um, participated in bingo and ordered them, they will be shipping out on Thursday. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. You guys have a great weekend. Uh, I'll be live again on Monday evening. Yeah, okay, thanks so much.